we are going to work with washed ink. Before you start working, please get a placemat. They are over there. Yeah, under the, the cupboards. Get a jar of water. You can share this one. You need a brush and you need some scrap papers like these over here. And three little cups. Yeah? One, two, one, three. What you got, are going to do, you take your water and you fill your cups with a little bit of water. Yeah, just a little bit. Don't fill them. A little bit and a little bit. And you've got your jar. And you've got this, your ink. With your brush, you are going to make different tints of, no, different shades of grey. Do you know that book? How many shades of grey? 50 shades of grey. You only have to make three. This is a really dark one and I only did one drop of ink. Yeah, this is quite dark. I prefer a bit lighter. So what you can do is take this ink and put it in another cup and then see what it gives you. Nice light grey. Now you can do a colour in between, so a little bit of this in this one here, maybe two times, maybe three times. I want this one a bit darker. And you have to mix. Oh, I can have a little bit more. Or just a little bit of ink, not too much. And hopefully I'm in between. If not, I'll just add water. Oh, this is okay. Look, three nice shades. You've got your black, really, really dark. And in the end, you will even have your jar of water with a bit of ink in it. So, what you're going to do is paint everything in grey tones. Start with the light ones. So, if I want to do my sky here, it's day. If you have a night in your uh, uh, environment, of course, you use black and maybe some light dots. If I go over this one, do you see this ink here? This is not dry yet. If I go over it, it will bleed into my sky. Okay, just fill it nice and light. Don't start too dark. One mistake. Now, you know, this is a dark one, yes? Ooh, I don't, I'm not sure. Let's try it. No, it's the middle color. Okay, that's for my house. So you fill it in. Hopefully this is dry. Yes, oh no, it's not. Make sure your ink is dry, yeah? Otherwise you will... If it's dry, you can go over it. Do you see it? That's the difference. Wet ink, and this one's dry, so you can, have, you can go over it. It should be dry. If you're not sure, don't do it. Now, really dark for the tree. And you can even make um, shadow by doing things twice. And this is also, ink was not dry yet. Let's do it. This is a dark one. Ooh, a little drop. When this happens, just cover it up. Yeah, so what can I do? I'll just make a nice bush and later on I'll trace it with ink. Yes, this is painting with washed ink. When this ink is dry, you can go over it and it gets a bit darker. So you've got two ways of making things grey. You mix your different shades or you just do it twice or maybe three times and then it gets darker as well but be careful wet ink will bleed here and here are there any questions about this no questions do you think you can do that okay 